but my name is Agnes Preston Brehm. You may have seen my artwork before, uh, perhaps not, but I would like to take a few minutes of your time and uh, talk to you about my process of working, um, how I create um, paintings. So, um, in the past, I have done many paintings that had um, musical themes to them. And so people ask me often, um, do you listen to music while working on a painting, while in the studio? To be honest, um, as much as I love music, um, I don't most of the time. I need to be in quiet. I love to be in quiet. For me, in order to find my muse, I um, have to look inside of me I have to listen to an inner dialogue. I have to bring up memories, situations, remembrances, because I work entirely from memory. I don't have a preconceived idea when I start working, so I really depend on this inner guidance, sense of guidance. My um, interest in people and figurative work started at a very early age. I was about eight years old, single child of um, divorced parents, somewhat introverted and quiet, but someone who loved watching people. Um, I was growing up in Budapest, beautiful Budapest in Hungary, and I loved um, watching people, observing people, at school, um, in um, bus stations, subway, in coffee houses, trying to figure out who they were, what they were talking about, what they were wearing. So I spent many, many nights staying up, drawing people, men, women, children, in uh, different clothes, in different uh, uh, posture, pause, poses, in different situations. And I think, I guess, these were my, these people drawings were my friends. A few years later, um, probably around the age of um, 11, 12, um, when I started formal art studies in Budapest, Hungary, in case you wondered where this accent was coming from, then continuing my studies in Montreal for a short period of time, and then in New York, where I finished all my studies, um, I had to draw and paint from live mothers for years. This, of course, um, taught me um, a lot about human anatomy and uh, the human form, but most of all about body language, which is my biggest interest. As I mentioned before, um, I don't have a preconceived idea when I start. I depend on uh, this inner guidance. I put colors, big blotches of colors on the canvas. I start drawing, which I love to do. And um, after several changes and push and pulls and colors and uh, uh, now that you're seeing a black and pretty much black and white painting behind me, I do love color. But nevertheless, I start uh, moving color and line around on my canvas, and eventually um, an image starts emerging. Now this image um, strikes my fancy, and then I um, pursue it, I synthesize my thoughts, and I go further and further changing the painting as many times as it needs to because I like big gestural strokes, um, spontaneity, and I change the painting until it comes to a, um, a stage that uh, the subject matter crystallizes, more, crystallizes to me. Although many times the end result is somewhat of a mystery, uh, I don't know how and why it evolved that way, but evidently it depended on my, it, it was 
based on my remembrances, my feelings, my inner thoughts. Now my people that I paint, whether they are one, two, three, a bunch of them on a canvas, they are um, uh, anonymous. They don't have uh, facial features. They're not about anybody in particular. They are about any of us. The point I'm trying to make on the paintings is to depict situations, um, to depict um, emotions, feelings, love, um, happiness, loneliness, uh, fear, togetherness, all the emotions, all the feelings that we, every one of us feels. And, and experiences. At the end of the day, um, I often find that there's a lot of paint left on my palette. And one thing I don't like, two things I don't like, leftover paint and leftover food. So um, at the end of the day, I take a virgin white canvas, which is the scariest thing you can imagine, and this leftover paint goes on this canvas with big strokes and lines without thinking I cover the canvas as much as I can. And then I hope that next morning when I come into the um, studio, I'll find something interesting in it. At least the canvas won't be white, so I'll be more loosened up to work on it further. I hope you can visit my Facebook page and Instagram page, Agnes Preston Brame, Agnes Preston Brame Artwork, and or my website, paintingsbyapb.com. I hope to meet you someday in person, and thank you very much for your attention. Be safe.